I want to get this skin really crispy. So what I'm going to do is use roasted garlic avocado oil as a, just a little binder on this chicken. Just a little. It'll help the, the rub stick to the skin. it all over this in here you don't need much I'm gonna start off with the boo and Henry's barbecue rub Oops. And the little Cosmo cute hot dirty bird. That's it. I'm gonna flip it around. I'm trying to pull the skin apart. From the breast a little. Get in there. Look, I got a nice hole there. I'm gonna put some oil in there. I'm gonna put some dirty bird in there. And some Boo and Henry's. Massage it around. Okay, I got oil. I'm gonna put a little Blue and Henry's. So you get my wing, drumstick. Wing, press. A hot, dirty bird. Just for color, I can add a little bit once it gets on the pit. You know? All right. That's it. I'm going to let this sit for a half hour. Let it dry brine. while I get the fire going. The nice chicken, you dry brine it. Flies are everywhere. And I'm gonna get the pit started. Coming back soon. My coals are about ready. I've got a mesquite lump and hickory wood. I'm gonna pour the charcoal over this side and um, Put the chicken on. It's gonna be great. Let me put the chicken on. We got fire and the chicken is on. I'm gonna close it up. Watch the smoke come out. There it goes. Look at that smoky. I got this vent closed. This vent is closed. 
So the heat comes up and the smoke comes up over here, over the chicken and out this vent. The bottom on this side is closed. That side's open. So the air comes in like that. It can't go out there. It goes across and up and down. But I'm getting clean smoke now. I'm burning good blue smoke. Clear blue smoke. That's what you want with good barbecue. I got my timer set for 30 minutes. I'm gonna have to uh, flip it in 30 minutes because the fire is still pretty hot. I think I overdid it again. 30 minutes. I flipped it around. Barbecue chicken. I gotta get my thermopin. Right, it's been an hour and a half exactly. Let's see what's going on here. One sixty five. <laughs> That's perfect. That's it. That's it. It's done. I'm going to take it off, put it in the house, let it rest for twenty minutes. Become barbecue. One sixty five. My barbecue chicken. The legs just, the legs just came right off. And here's the Laura's chicken. We got tzatziki, hummus, hummus, onions, arugula, feta cheese, sweat, feta. I got white chicken. <laughs> we cut a piece and do a taste test. Super juicy. This is barbecue chicken. Mm. 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 It's falling apart. Mm. Mm. Juicy skin, crispy. Mm -hmm. Big on the barbecue. Okay, I made myself a pita with hummus and tons of chicken in there. <coughs> Arugula, goats, uh, <coughs> feta cheese. <coughs> I'm gonna do a taste test. 
Look at that. Holy moly. Wow. Pepper wants some. <laughs> Come on barbecue, get ready for a taste test. Hello everyone. It, it's gonna be delicious. A little taste test of my chicken. Smoked chicken. The chicken's just coming right off the bone. <laughs> the leg just pulled right off. Let me take a test. Smoky, juicy. My goodness. Oh, it's not salty this time. Look at bite through skin, crispy skin, bite through. Oh man. Chicken just falls. Look at that. PK Grill does it again. Look at that. Bite through skin. That's what the judges want in a competition. Bite through, just like ribs. Mm -hmm. So then I made a pita. It's a Greek a pita with a bunch of chicken, hummus, tzatziki sauce, um, red onion, arugula, hummus, pita bread. I hope it's not falling apart. It's a pita bread and it's stuffed with all that stuff. With chicken, everything. You just slice a pita bread in half and then open it up and you make a little pockets for a sandwich. Let's dig into, into this. <laughs> Oh my. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Wow, man. It's got so much flavor. Cool and crisp and crunchy and chicken and hummus. Tzatziki. Laura made the tzatziki herself. All the arugula. This is like super, super healthy. Wow. That's a pita bread chicken. I'll call it a Laura special because she, she put all that, all the ingredients on the counter for me. And I just stuffed it. Wow. Right now, 
that's got everything going on. That's a major flavor town. I'll finish off the drumstick. Finish this pita sandwich. The chicken. See all the chicken in there? With the fresh veggies? With the hummus? chicken in there that sandwich that pita sandwich like 20 25 dollars make cotton barbecue appreciate all your views and subscribers out there please like and subscribe because i'm doing it all for you and you and you and you bye everybody peace Love and aloha, bon appetit. See you. This video is dedicated to my Uncle Bill in Hawaii, who just passed away two days ago at 81 in Kailua Kona for five years. He was my father figure when I lived there in, in Kona. And I want to send my prayers to all my Ohana, his two children, Mickey Lani, and my, my cousins, Mickey Lani and Billy V, who works at Hawaii News now. He's a Hawaiian royalty. And, uh, his wife Tika, my auntie, sending prayers. My uncle came to my house and, and stayed a week with me, maybe like five years ago, six years ago. He stayed a week to visit. And um, for the last year, he, he's been really sick, 81. So I just want to send my love and aloha to uh, all my relatives in Hawaii. And I got the Kona beer for Uncle Bill. Aloha, bro. Love you and I'll miss you forever.